Hey guys, got some really exciting news for you guys today. Yesterday, the creator of Baby AGI, which is an autonomous GPT, just like Auto GPT, this guy announced that Baby AGI is can now be used with GPT for all, which is an open source large language model, in order to run it in your local system completely for free without an open AI account. One of the major issues with I think Auto GPT was that firstly you needed an open AI account, you needed a Pinecone account, you had a bunch of issues setting it up. Baby AGI and GPT for all kind of bypasses all of those issues and it's a very simple implementation that you need to do in order to kind of make it work in your system. And I'm going to walk you through how that works. We'll also be looking at three examples. One is a generic meaning of life example. Second we'll build we'll put a prompt to build a you know AI generated t-shirt printing company. Third, we'll write basic Python code and see how the results are with by using this implementation. So let's get started. This is the GitHub page where you need to go and scroll. If you scroll a bit down, you'll see all the instructions that it's pretty simple. Um, and the great thing about this is it runs on your CPU and you can choose which model to use in order to run it. We're going to be running it on the QNA 13B, which is like the biggest model. Um, and the model also has been successfully tested to run on the the QNA model itself. So Number one, just click here, copy this, and just like all the other projects, clone it in your local system. So in order to do it, go to this folder where you want to clone it, click on this, um, select the path and type CMD. It will open something like this and do git clone. What this will do is will all, it will clone all the necessary you know, files you need in your system. Um, honestly, at this point though, you have almost all the files you need, but you still need to download the model and I'll show you where to download it. Next, what you want to do is install the necessary libraries. Now you can do CD and go to the folder, which is baby AGI for all. Now inside this, you need to install the requirements file. This basically lists down all the things that you need in order to run this in your system. I'm assuming that you have Python and Git installed before you do this, right? So let's say pip install minus r. Do pip install uh, requirements.txt. In my case, I have everything I need already. So I'm not going to be worried about you know, downloading anything at this point apart from the model. Now the other important element, and I think the most important element is to download the model. So click here. Uh, you'll find a list of models that have worked that were with GPT for all. So you just need to find the model you want to use. Um, I would suggest going with the 7D model. Again, this is a heavy model and it's commercially licensable. So it's a great model for you to kind of not only run an experiment, but also monetize if you need to. So in order to download it, just click here. This should start a download. This should start a download for the file you need to download. You can see the download has started here. Now post the download is completed. Here's what you need to do. Now post the download is completed. Just create a new folder called models and place your models here, whichever you've downloaded. I've downloaded 13B with you now. So just copy the link to this file and open the dot environment file. Now this is an important file because you'll be specifying a bunch of, you'll be specifying a bunch of things here, right? Like the objectives uh, and the location to your model. So if you come here and you find model path, just change this to also before I go here, when you first clone this in your local system, this will be .env template. So you need to edit and just call it .env. Okay, now that that's out of the mind, you need to uh, specify where your model is located. So when the program runs, it knows where to go. This is the location of my model. And second, you need to give it an objective. It will by default pick the first objective. You can see these are other objectives that have been added as a sample, but these are hashed out. So just add the objective that you want to run. Now in this case, build an AI generated t-shirt business from scratch. And if you have all of these done, I think now if you have all of the these done, you're ready. So all you need to do is just do CMD, Python, baby, AGI, dot pi. So basically we are running this file. And when you press enter, this should run the file for you. Initially, it will take some time for setting up, but once the setup is done, it will uh, kind of start running the program itself. You can see it's taken the objective to build the AI generated t-shirt business from scratch. So let's see where this goes from here. Remember, it takes a lot of CPU power in order to now remember, it takes a lot of CPU power in order to run this. So if you're running something else in the background, I'd recommend closing it before you kind of run the model itself. And it also takes a lot of time to process these objectives. So you're going to be here for a while, right? It's not 
it's not the best when it comes to the kind of results that are generated but it's a great starting point um, especially given that there will be newer and more accurate models coming out in the near future so now to do the fun part actually running this in your local system you can see our first prompt is to do you know build a ai generated t-shirt business from scratch now what i've done is i've kind of pre-recorded this uh, the reason i've done that is because it takes a lot of time so combined overall it took me 1 hour 20 minutes to just run three prompts um and that's maybe because my cpu power is not as significant you know as especially when i'm running the vicuna 7 13b model right which is a huge model today. anyway so this is the um result right so it's completely autonomous you're not putting any prompts or giving any direction to the agi so you can see what is the first step in, in building the business assistant says the first step in building business would be to identify a niche for you know specific age group lifestyle or interest this will help guide the design and marketing efforts for the business the human says what is the second step second step would be to create brand identity this will establish a recognition recognizable look and feel for the business and its products what is the third step assistant says the third step would be to create a website for business including product listings information and shopping cart feature this will provide an online platform for the customers to purchase the t-shirts and track their orders what is the fourth step the fourth step would be to develop a marketing strategy to promote the business and its products so a bunch of these steps similar to what auto gpt used to do right but um and you had an option in auto gpt to kind of interrupt and you know put prompts yourself we've not tried that with baby agi right now but these are the things that it kind of thinks about when you give it a problem next it goes ahead and kind of list down the task new task that it needs to do in order to kind of get there the first would be to say you know track sales and customer feedback develop a loyalty program and this is post you have all the four things done right so there is continuously assess and improvement customer experience hire additional staff sell t-shirts online the 28th step you can see thought through the 20th step right so explore new distribution channels continuously improve product offerings based on customer needs develop sustainable plan for business 20th step again there are some bugs here where you see it's kind of repeating these steps analyze data to optimize and you know etc you can see what it's trying to do right so it's kind of figuring out the things that it needs to do in order to kind of build a running t-shirt business now what it does is post it kind of lists down all the tasks it goes ahead and takes the first task of the list itself and then kind of tries to execute uh, you know along the lines of that specific task so you can see the first task is track sales and customer feedback okay so the model then went ahead and you know uh, what is the next step after you know tracking sales and customer feedback the uh, that's what the human is asking to the model the model says the next step would be to analyze the data collected from tracking sales and customer feedback this will involve identifying trends areas of improvements and opportunities for growth you can again it, the model also assumes next question where it says after analyzing data what's the next step so the model says the next step would be to implement any necessary changes based on the analysis of the data collected from tracking sales customer feedback which is logical right so what is the next step after implementing these changes so would be to continue tracking sales feedback to ensure that changes are made have desired impact and this will involve regularly monitoring key metrics such as revenue customer satisfaction rating etc etc so which is logical you figure out what to track um how to analyze their data and what do you do after you kind of uh have done the analysis on the data part okay and this was enough to kind of you know help me understand the capability of the model itself and it was taking a lot of time so i wanted to go to the next question so i wanted to go to the next question where i wanted the model to write a python script to convert webp into png now this is a very simple python script so i did not really expect the model to go on for a longer time but kind of went ahead and anyways created a detailed task list so research and understand the conversion process of webp to png create a python script that can perform the conversion process test the documents etc etc implement error handling optimize the script for performance test the optimized script again to ensure it performs as expected publish the script for public use monitor the usage of the script and make any necessary improvements which is logical again from the perspective of building and deploying machine learning machine machine learning or basic software applications it also went ahead and wrote a sample python script here if you can see this assistant here's an example of python script um and it kind of generated a sample script that we could use uh, in order to play around with the model next it went ahead and created next set of tasks that we need to do in order to uh, ensure it it performs as expected it prioritizes the task that it had kind of um generated earlier 
and then it kind of goes ahead and you know execute those tasks so document steps taken in order to development of the script optimize the script for performance publish the script for public use monitor the usage of the script and make necessary updates or improvements research and understand the conversion process develop a python script that can perform the conversion process implement error handling so honestly this is not um, accurate as as good as auto gpt used to be or is but at least it's a good starting point for an open source auto gpt that will likely be coming in the near future now it again went ahead and took the first task and this is the output it kind of threw out which i personally <laughs> which is a bug um where it kind of broke because you know by the point it reached this point it already had given out the python script and there was nothing really to do after that point so you can see it's it kind of stopped here and this point i decided to kind of move on to the final uh, prompt that i wanted to test out again that i wanted to test out now which was the meaning of life the universe and everything now it kind of went ahead and you know generated again the task list where practice gratitude focus on what you have in your life rather than what you don't have spend time with loved ones and engage in activities that bring joy to both of you um take care of yourself by getting enough sleep eating well and exercising regularly set goals um you know set goals for yourself and work towards achieving them do something kind for someone else each day find a hobby or passion that brings you joy and pursue it practice mindfulness and focus on the present moment take time to relax and enjoy life simple pressure so it kind of generated these eight tasks and post that it kind of generated the task list in order to achieve the result that it had generated so set goals for yourself and work towards achieving them break down larger goals into smaller manageable tasks practice gratitude by writing down three things each day uh, that you're thankful for do something kind for someone else each day and you know the earlier one were the results that you need to achieve and now you're talking about the list that you need to um things that you need to achieve in order to achieve those results right so post the list itself we kind of took the first task to execute set goals for yourself and work towards achieving them and then it kind of the task itself kind of generated a paragraph two paragraphs that i think weren't really uh, related so it says 19th century do you have more information on philosophical naturalism and it kind of says there's a metaphorical you know metaphysical stance that asserts the nature is all there is or at least all that exists in the fundamental sense it points that everything exists can be reduced to natural causes and effects and supernatural entities such as gods do not exist again you can uh, i personally felt that it wasn't really connected but then you know then it kind of went ahead and took up the next task which is by writing down three things so it kind of executed the first set goals for yourself task and then it started executing the next task in the list itself um for some reason it thought it answered you know its its answer was kind of relevant to the question that anyways so writing down three things each day that you're thankful thankful for then went ahead and wrote down three things so human says and this is the part that is relevant right so i'm thankful for my family my health and beautiful weather today that's great it's important to take time to appreciate good things in life how do you feel after practicing gratitude the human says i feel positive and content now that's wonderful gratitude is a powerful tool for improving mental health and overall well-being do you have any other goals or tasks you would like me to work on today human says no i'll take take it easy today that sounds like a plan is there anything else that i can help you human says no you're welcome feel free to reach out and that's i think pretty much it about the um, and that's pretty much the story of the type of conversation the model has had today with itself now obviously now obviously this isn't the best uh, auto gpt that you may have seen uh, at least today but you know it kind of speaks you know it kind of goes on to say how much scope there is especially when talking about open source open source auto gpt model these models are no more just stories these are reality and that is going to be it for the video guys i hope this video added value to you if you are as excited about generative ai as i am feel free to kind of follow me on twitter and join our discord group if you're interested and i'll and i'll see you guys in